वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन दिस लेक्चर वी शेल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड वॉल्यूम यूजिंग ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल एंड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन यूज ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल टू फाइंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड इन फर्स्ट ऑक्टेंट बाउंडेड बाई कोआर्डिनेट प्लेन एंड द प्लेन थ्री एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई प्लस फोर जेड इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड वॉल्यूम यूजिंग ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल एंड वट इज द फर्स्ट ऑक्टेंट एज वी नो दैट ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल ओवर सॉलिड रिजन जी एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड डी वी रिप्रजेंट्स वॉल्यूम वेन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू वेन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इज इक्वल टू वन वेन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इक्वल टू वन देन वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड जी वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड रीजन जी इज इक्वल टू ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल ओवर द रीजन जी एंड वेन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इक्वल टू वन सो इट बिकम्स डी वी सो दिस इज द रिलेशन फॉर फाइंडिंग वॉल्यूम बाई यूजिंग ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल नाउ वी डिस्कस वट इज फर्स्ट ऑक्टेंट एज इन टू डी स्पेस वी आर फेमिलियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वारेंट हेयर इज अवर फर्स्ट क्वारेंट सेकेंड क्वारेंट थर्ड क्वारेंट एंड फोर्थ क्वारेंट इन टू डी स्पेस there are four different quadrant while in 3d space there are octant this is our x axis y axis z axis so this is our negative x axis negative y axis and similarly negative z axis so there are eight different octant in 3d space first octant is the octant in which x y and z are positive first octant is the octant in which x y z are positive now we try to solve this question use triple integral to find volume of solid in first octant bounded by coordinate plane and the plane 3x plus 6y plus 4z equal to 12 in order to find volume by using triple integral it is better to sketch the region first first i try to sketch this region as our region is bounded by coordinate axis uh, this is our x axis y axis and z axis coordinate axis uh, there are three different plane here x y in x y plane z is equal to 0 equation of x y plane is x and z equal to 0 equation of y z plane is x equal to 0 and equation of x z plane is y is equal to 0 now first we try to sketch this plane as the triangular portion of this plane can be sketched here by finding the points where our coordinate axis intersect with the plane as when this plane intersect x axis at x axis y and z equal to 0 when y and z is equal to 0 3x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 4 so this plane intersect x axis at x equal to 4 1 2 3 4 4 similarly for y axis uh, x and z is 0 so 6 y equal to 12 and y is equal to 2 so this plane intersect y axis at y equal to 2 similarly for z axis x and y equal to 0 so 4 z equal to 12 and z is equal to 3 1 2 3 so our plane can be sketched triangular portion of the plane can be sketched by joining these three lines uh joining these three lines 
so this is the portion of our triangular portion of our given plane this is our solid region in 3d space which is bounded by coordinate planes and also it lies in first octant in first octant x y and z are positive now in order to find volume first we find the projection of this region on our given plane is 3x plus 6y plus 4z equal to 12 for projection on xy plane as we know that for xy plane z is equal to 0 so for projection we put z equal to 0 for projection projection region for projection region in xy plane in xy plane put z equal to 0 when z is equal to 0 then above equation becomes 3x plus 6y is equal to 12 which implies it can be written as x plus 2y is equal to 4 y is equal to 4 minus x upon 2 which is equal to 2 minus x upon 2 which implies y is equal to 2 minus x upon 2 so this is our projection in xy plane now we sketch this curve x intercept of this curve is 4 and y intercept of uh, this curve is 2 so x intercept is 4 y intercept is 2 so projection region is the region here under this curve y equal to equation of this curve is y is equal to 2 minus x upon 2 here this point is 4 comma 0 x intercept and y intercept is 0 comma 2 now we find limit of our integration as we know that uh, in this region z varies from uh, 0 to from here we can find value of z uh, from this plane so z is equal to 3 into 1 minus x upon 4 minus y upon 2 so this value of z can be evaluated from uh, evaluated from this uh, equation x varies from 0 to 4 so variation of uh, first I write variation of z is from 0 to z equal to 0 to z equal to 3 into 1 minus x upon 4 3 into 1 minus x upon 4 minus y upon 2 minus y upon 2 this is our variation of x uh, z and x varies from 0 to 4 x varies from 0 to x equal to 4 similarly limit of y is as y is 0 on x axis so y varies from uh, 0 to y minus uh, y equal to 2 minus x upon 2 so variation of y is y equal to 0 and y equal to 2 minus x upon 2 now our triple integral becomes our volume is equal to triple integral first we uh, f uh, find the limit first we use the limit of uh, x which is from uh, 0 to 4 so limit of x is 0 to 4 
uh, limit of y is from uh, 0 to 2 minus x upon 2 and limit of z is from 0 to 3 and 2 1 minus x upon 4 minus y upon 2 dz dy dx now first we partially integrate with respect to z so it becomes integration 0 to 4 integration 0 to 2 minus x upon 2 when we partially integrate with respect to z so it becomes z and limit of z is from 0 to 3 into 1 minus x upon 4 minus y upon 2 dy dx in next step it becomes integration 0 to 4 integration 0 to 2 minus x upon 2 variation of z is 0 to 3 and to 1 minus x upon 4 minus y upon 2 so it becomes 3 and 2 1 minus x upon 4 minus y upon 2 dy dx now it can be written as 3 integration 0 to 4 now we partially integrate with respect to y so it becomes y minus x y upon 4 minus integration y is y square upon 2 so it becomes y square upon 4 and limit of y is from 0 to 2 minus x upon 2 dx in next step it becomes 3 integration 0 to 4 limit putting limit of y so it becomes 2 minus x upon 2 minus x into uh, x upon 4 into 2 minus x upon 2 2 minus x upon 2 minus 1 upon 4 2 minus x upon 2 whole square dx now it becomes 3 integration 0 to 4 2 minus x upon 2 minus x upon 2 minus minus plus x square upon 8 minus 1 upon 4 into 4 plus x square upon 4 minus 2x whole dx in next step it becomes 3 integration 0 to 4 2 minus x upon 2 minus x upon 2 minus x plus x square upon 4 uh, x square upon 8 uh, minus 1 and the next uh, term is minus x square upon 16 minus minus plus plus x upon 2 x upon 2 dx and this is equal to 3 integration 0 to 4 2 minus 1 is 1 x uh, by 2 minus x so it becomes minus x upon 2 and x square upon 8 minus x square upon 16 so it becomes plus x square upon 16 whole dx 
now this is equal to 3 integration 0 to 4 uh, now we apply integration uh, integrate with respect to x so it becomes 3 integration 1 is x and integration x upon 2 is x square upon 4 plus integration x square is x cube upon 48 and x varies from 0 to 4 now putting limit so it becomes 3 into it becomes uh, 4 minus 16 upon 4 plus 64 upon 48 64 upon 48 and next step this is equal to 3 into 4 minus 4 plus 64 upon 48 and this is equal to 3 into 4 minus 4 is cancelled out 64 upon 48 uh, this is equal to 64 upon 3 16 3 16's are 48 so 64 upon 16 uh, which is equal to 4